Start broadcast. The broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. Good morning, everyone. My name is John McInnes. I'm the uh, president and CEO of Print Audit, uh, and I'm happy to be presenting the launch of Print Audit Secure today. Um, we've got lots of people online from all over the world, so I guess it's good morning for me, good afternoon for some, and good evening for others. Um, the presentation today, there's a uh, quick PowerPoint presentation, uh, which will be followed by a demonstration, and then after that, we're going to have plenty of time for questions. Um, feel free to send the questions uh, via chat, uh, raise your hand, which is one of the options on GoToMeeting, and uh, at the end of the presentation, Jeff will uh, feed the questions to me and I'll answer them. And if you need to ask the question verbally, let, uh, send a chat, chat again to Jeff and he will um, he'll set it up so that you can speak as well. All of the microphones are on mute, so if you have any issues, again, send uh, issues to Jeff Young. Uh, via chat. I'm hoping you can all hear me today. I expect that the presentation portion and the demonstration will last a little less than a half an hour, but we've got an hour booked today so we can uh, take questions as long as it takes. So without further ado. Today we're introducing and releasing Print Audit Secure. Print Audit Secure has been a uh, project at Print Audit for quite a long time. Uh, we've been, it's been highly anticipated by many of our customers, many of our dealers, and uh, many of our partners around the world. The reason that we took so long to build this was we wanted to build the better mousetrap. We wanted to make sure that the, that the system solved some problems that are out there with other, pro with other systems in the world. Uh, we wanted to make sure that it was 100% uh, neutral, OEM neutral, and uh, we wanted to make sure that there was no modification to print, to print queues, thus making it the easiest system to install. In positioning the product, uh, we have two major constituents that we'll be using and selling the product, office equipment dealers being the first, IT bars, those that are selling imaging equipment. Those people are the ones that want to drive more volumes to their machines and win more deals. And what we mean by the win more deals and drive more volumes is essentially what Secure does is it allows people to um, do right sizing of networks, uh, eliminate the need for everybody in the organization to have their own printer and move the volumes to uh, to more centralized devices. So working towards uh, a true managed print services uh, environment for your customers. The other key to this for office equipment dealers, IT bars, and all of those that are managing and selling uh, imaging devices is as much as uh, the OEMs and some of the people that are selling these things would love, uh, there is no environment that has all one type of printer or MFP, and so Secure is an OEM neutral pull printing solution. Uh, it works across all devices, no matter what make, model, or type. And one of the things that we really did work hard on is to make sure that uh, the install is easy across any size enterprise and that there was no modification at all to the current way that people print, uh, the current way that the network infrastructure is set up. The other thing that's not technical was uh, the world is changing towards recurring revenues uh, and uh, lower pricing and software as a service. And also, we wanted to make sure that in, the, in our dealers' contracts when they're offering MPS or services contracts, when their contract is over, we wanted to make sure that we're very, very, very sticky within the account so that we're making sure that, the, that the, our dealers, our customers, uh, never lose their customers. And so um, Print Audit Secure is priced at a dollar per device per month, so it bundles easily with your service and MPS contracts. And the real benefit of this is at the end of the day, uh, or at the end of the contract, it's going to be very tough for your customers to move away from you because they'll be using Print Audit Secure and other Print Audit products um, 
uh, within their system and when you leave the tools that you've given them and that they're using every day will leave as well. For your customer, probably the biggest source of concern and aggravation is the uh, stacks of unclaimed print jobs left on printers. Uh, me as a uh, president of a company, I walk by our printers, even though we're in this business, I walk by our printers and it drives me nuts seeing these stacks of wasted pages, uh, never picked up pages. I know that uh, it's a huge environmental waste. Uh, there's cost going out the door because it's a per page. Every page that comes out is per page. This picture that I have here is uh, straight off of a blog on the internet and um, if you type into Google unclaimed print jobs, print jobs left on printers, you'll see uh, literally hundreds if not thousands of people railing against uh, uh, others leaving their print jobs and not picking them up. Uh, essentially Printide Secure eliminates that because you're releasing the job while you're at the printer and uh, so it won't release the jobs until you're at the printer. dramatically increasing document security is another piece that's very important to your customers and to the people that will be using this. Um, instead of always having to print to their expensive local printers or um, being worried that a, a job is printed, uh, that they need to get to the printer quickly. Our, uh, it's, it's funny, our accountant here, uh, whenever she's printing out financials or paychecks or things like that, uh, we can hear her running from her desk to the MFP to get there before it, it actually finishes printing. That's not required anymore because your documents are now secured. They're not going to be put, picked up by any, by any wrong people and that's because you're releasing the document at the device. And again, uh, it's important for any IT provider, whether they're a small company with 10 people or a large company with 60,000 people, the key is that you do not want to be changing uh, all of your print queues and your print monitoring and all those sorts of things on a desktop basis or all the way up to a print server basis. We work very hard on that point and technically it's a, it's a major, major competitive advantage. The next very cool thing about how Print Audit Secure works is that you can release from any web-enabled device, any device with a browser. So you can be standing with your cell phone, your smartphone, a uh, iPad, any PC tablet, anything that has a browser on it, that's how you can release your print jobs. Uh, so again, one of the things that we've done is we've removed the need to have expensive proprietary release stations. Any computer that you have now, or again, your smartphone, your iPhone, your Blackberry, uh, Android tablets, which are getting cheaper and cheaper and cheaper, all of those will work to release your print jobs. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna give a, uh, a quick demo of how the software works. Uh, I'm gonna start off by printing a job from my workstation and then I'm going to release a job. You're going to see me releasing it from my web browser, but of course, you, as I mentioned before, you can release it from your smartphone, your tablet, uh, any browser-enabled computer, and, uh, but you'll, hear, you'll see it from that. Uh, we also uh, have built and are building uh, embedded release, release for most of the OEM and manufacturers, um, and those will be released very soon, uh, but again, they're not required. You can use any web-enabled device to be able to release them. Uh, and for authentication, we have three ways of authenticating you to your device, to the server or the printer. Number one is uh, username, your username and password through Active Directory. You can use a swipe card, swipe card or a PIN code. I'll give you a quick administration overview, and it really is quick. The uh, interface is very clean. Uh, very easy to understand and you'll see how quick it is to set up and then I'll show you very quickly how the reporting works within within the system. So without further ado I will uh, switch over to 
print audit secure. So in this case, what you see here is my login is a PIN code. Uh, my PIN code is, is tied to my Active Directory login, uh, but we're going to first print a document, and you'll see what happens when you print. So I'm just going to print the front page here, and uh, I'll do it to the device that I know is behind me, and click on Print. And after I print, you can see that the, that the job at the bottom of the screen has spooled, uh, and then Print Audit Secure comes up and says, Login was successfully secured. So very nice, easy message for your users. It's right away. It lets them know uh, that their job has been secured. So now I'm going to log in using my PIN code which makes it very quick, of course, for uh, cell phones and things like that. The login and authentication is quick. What I'm showing you here, because I'm an administrator, this is the first time it's been set up. You can see that setting up the entire system is as quick as one, two, three, and then on four, you're ready to go. Uh, I'll go through some of those setups, some of the configuration of the system in a second. But first, let's just go see what we're going to look at for my print jobs. Um, I sent the job to Rico B. So if I'm standing up at the printer, at the at the uh, at the printer behind me, there's a there's a, a sticker on it that will have the secure code, so you know where you are. Now, if you've got a release station at the secure code. Um, or if you've got a release station at the actual device, it will uh, know what printer it's at all the time. So here you go. You can see a group of my print jobs. Um, the first thing that you notice is release or delete. Um, so your users can, so the people that are releasing their jobs can release the job, or they can delete it right from right from the browser interface. So they may never release it. Uh, it tells the document name, the time they submitted, and the printer originally printed to. So this jumps into a conversation about um, pull printing, you don't have to release a print job to the printer that you sent it to. Uh, that printer may be busy, it may be not working, or you might be in another part of the building. Uh, you could release the job to other devices on the network. And so um, very handy for uh, productivity reasons, but also uh, um, kind, of a, kind of a cool feature for uh, what's called follow me pull printing. There's a lot of different ways to, to um, describe what happens there. So I'm going to, as if I was standing in front of the device, I'm going to release my print job, and you'll see that it releases immediately. There is no delay, and I can hear the, I can hear the printer behind me uh, spitting out the job right now. I'm standing there uh, getting the job. Um, quickly, I'll show you what it looks like on your mobile. Um, this screen will pop up if you have a mobile browser. So if you've got an iPhone, an Android, or whatever, uh, an iPad, this screen pops up and it fits to your screen. It looks beautiful, and but when you're standing in front of the device, uh, very cool to be able to see and release your jobs with your uh, smartphone or iPad or any web-enabled device. So I'm going to go back to the regular view. So what we've done is we've printed a job. We've released it uh, to the printer, or it can be released to any other printer in the organization, as long as there's a compatibility between the two. Uh, compatibility is actually set up uh, by the administrator, and I'll show you that in a second. Uh, the compatibility really is, is this print job going to look good coming that I printed to the Rico, but it's going to cut, but I'm actually releasing it at the sharp. Is it going to look good? In our offices, because we do a lot of this, most of the manufacturers send us devices. We've got a lot to test in. Uh, we have had 90% uh, of our print jobs look fine printing from one type of device, OEM, to another. So the compatibility groups um, in this office would be everything's 100% compatible but they're easy to set up, which I will get into next. So the way that compatibility groups are set up is essentially you've got your list of printers. Uh, you can create a new group, call it Work Together, and you can manually select the devices that work together. And those will determine what the compatibility groups are. So again, it's in your hands. We're not determining that for you because in our in our own studies here, in our own uh, environment, everything's compatible. Uh, adding printers to the system 
This is the printer manager. These are the five printers that I've got added to the system. Printers can be added in several different ways, manually, uh, imported from files. There's lots of great ways to get the printer, get the printers into the system, and it can fit uh, five printers or 5,000 printers, depending on how you're licensed. And the licensing is per device. Um, Now, a quick overview about authentication. Again, as I mentioned before, I've got an authentication method here of PIN, um, but you can have a password, which is essentially your, your uh, domain authentication password, so your username and password, or you can have a PIN that's a set associated to your uh, username and password, or of course you can use proximity swipe cards, um, and all of those are, are um, are supported within the system. The database information and the configuration of the secure server is that uh, this is a Windows 2003 server that uh, is hosting the Printout Secure Server for us uh, internally. Uh, it can work Windows 2003 and up. Uh, the only requirements are IIS for pushing out the web pages and .NET, uh, .NET to make sure that, the, that everything works well not a lot of dependencies for the system, easy to set up, and the next piece, and the database is stored on equal, either a SQL server, or as you can see here, we're using SQL Express, which is free from Microsoft. Um, the system integrates with Printout 6 to make sure that if a job is never released, that the Printout 6 does not uh, record it, so it keeps your data integrity uh, there. And of course, there's a bunch of different secure settings. One of the ones that I'll zoom in on is uh, the ability to expire and purge jobs. Uh, this is, I call it a catch and release system. Really, the idea is it's not a document server. You don't want to be saving, saving your people's prints on here forever and ever. Uh, the purge, we would suggest, is set for a 24-hour period. It'd be up to the administrators. Uh, but you want to make sure that those jobs, like as if you were actually printing and, and walking up to a printer uh, are released or purged. And if the faster you purge them, the more environmental benefit you get out of the system. The last piece I'm going to get into is a bit about the reporting. The reporting is actually very simple in the system. It shows number of submitted, number of released, number of canceled, and then it gives you some statistics. I don't print a lot, and I'm the only one using this server, but imagine an organization that has a couple of hundred printers. These numbers would rack up very quickly, and you can show the number of trees saved, number of sheets of paper saved. Uh, pounds of paper, CO2, there's just some great statistics that show the benefit of, of the, the entire system. So we went through printed a job, released a job, uh, quick administration overview, and you did see the nice clear interface on it and how quick it is to set the system up. And I showed you a quick uh, overview of the reporting. Um, so for our uh, office equipment dealer partners and uh, friends that are going to be uh, showing this off to their customers, probably the number one way to show it off is uh, you are in your demo room, you're going to show your device, you click on print from your computer within the demo room, take your smartphone or tablet and release the job with your smartphone or tablet. It has a fantastic wow and sizzle factor, and then you can start to describe the benefits of what they just saw. And so to make sure that that's, that that's going to work for you, um, we are introducing and releasing a free, not for resale, copy of Print Audit Secure. Um, so anybody that calls us up for, to put uh, Secure into their demo room, we'll get you a not for resale copy, we'll get you set up, show you how to use it. And so that's our offer today and sort of our call to action. Make sure that you get this into your demo room because I've got to tell you, it, uh, uh, it adds a lot of sizzle to, to what you're showing off to your customers. And as a last little piece here, while you guys are gathering your questions and thinking about them, uh, just a quick overview about Print Audit, uh, who we are and what we've, uh, what we've done. Um, for those who are online that don't know about us. Uh, Print Audit was started in 1999. Uh, we started in the, uh, in the basement of my house and we've grown into an organization that uh, has offices around the world and uh, we have over 5,500 dealers around the world who uh, actively or have 
sold or are using our software for device management, for uh, user uh, printing management, and all sorts of great tools to make sure that they're selling more hardware, uh, selling more MPS contracts, and, and just becoming more successful. Printod 6 uh, is another product that you may be aware of from us. Uh, it's our flagship product, and it's, a, it's an incredible system. It's about three months ago, we were happy to reach a million plus desktops uh, where we installed at a large engineering firm, uh, w large worldwide engineering firm. So there's over a million people using uh, Print Audit on a daily basis. And the, imagine the largest stadium in the world takes, or in North America, takes 110,000 people. So that's about 10 times the largest stadium in the world. Uh, there was a, a recent publication by CompTIA, uh, Managed Print comp uh, Compilation, and they were talking about uh, how Managed Print is working within organizations. Uh, they showed out of the 275 dealers that they polled that 40% uh, of those dealers were using Print Audit to, uh, for device management and remote, remote device management. So uh, we were very proud to be uh, in that study shown as the number one device management company. Um, one of the things that uh, that makes us smile is uh, we've literally won every every industry award possible for all of our products several times, and we've also won a whole bunch of uh, customer service awards that have been given out by different organizations. Um, we're we're just really pleased with that. We don't know where to go from here. I guess we'll try and get uh, secure to win all the award, the product awards that uh, all of our other products have, but uh, there just aren't any more for us to win. Our device management software uh, that I mentioned earlier, the Print Audit Facilities Manager, it actually tracks somewhere around 7 billion pages per month, and uh, which is massive. We've got hundreds of uh, office equipment dealers, IT VARs that use this software around the world to, um, to manage and track remotely what's happening on the, on the devices that they manage. And when, another thing that we're very proud of is that uh, with software like Secure and Print Audit Rules, uh, we estimate that we say it, that we've saved somewhere around two million trees, which is the same as reforesting um, Central Park about ten times over. So we're very excited about that. That's the end of the presentation, and I wanted to make sure that it was very quick, and I hope it was for you. Um, we will uh, now take some questions, and Jeff, Jeff Young is on the other side. If you have any questions, we have a ton of people on the line. I'm looking at about uh, uh, on the system. We've got, uh, it doesn't actually show me how many, but I've got, I can see a massive amount. So uh, Jeff, have we received any questions? I can't hear you. Oh, all right. He says I have to unmute him. All right. Uh oh. Yeah, oh, I'm there. Hmm. Okay. So he's going to guide me to the questions since I can't unmute him. Okay, so I'm just going to open this up so I can see these on the screen. And uh, the first one is, uh, uh, does this work completely independent of Print Audit 6 or is Print Audit 6 required? Um, great question. Thanks. Uh, that's uh, Matt. Matt, great question. The answer is uh, Print Audit, it works completely independent of Print Audit 6. Uh, Print Audit 6 is not required. It does integrate with Print Audit 6 for data integrity, but we built this as a separate product. Uh, Mark Green asks what a demo room is. Uh, great question, Mark. That's for uh, office equipment dealers or uh, those guys that bring you into their into their dealership to show you all of their uh, all of their devices and wares. Uh, again, standalone product or an add-on to Print Audit Six. This is a standalone product. Uh, the next one is from Shaquille Ahmed. Uh, does this do only secure printing, 
or accounting information as well. So uh, standalone from Printed 6, integrated with Printed 6, it will do the accounting uh, information as well. Uh, will secure print run on Sharp Embedded? We uh, have had a great sneak peek with all of the people at Sharp the other day, uh, and they have um, they have pushed us very hard to have a uh, Sharp Embedded version of this as soon as we can. Uh, so tomorrow we're setting our priorities, and, more, and Sharp Embedded will be one of them. But we don't have Sharp Embedded right today. Again, you can use any tablet or smartphone to release, but we know all the manufacturers and all those that manufacturers want us to uh, be releasing them. Uh, can the tablet smartphone release work for redirecting to a different printer in a follow me environment? Thanks, Frank. The answer is yes. Uh, do we need printer? Do we need printer or MFP with hard disk? No. Uh, it is not saved on a hard disk on the MFP. The uh, it's actually a separate secure server that sits at your customer's network, or it can bolt onto another server that they have. Uh, what is the cost, Mark? The cost is one dollar per device per month. Uh, so by far, the uh, that's one of the greatest competitive advantages that we put in this. Uh, again, another embedded option for Sharp. Uh, okay, I'm getting it. We will do it. Uh, Frank, uh, when using a card swipe for release, can I also request a password as well as the swipe? Um, it, what the card swipe does is it will um, it integrates directly with the Active Directory password. So uh, it, it, there isn't a redundancy here. The card swipe will uh, will log your people in to see their print jobs. Um, there isn't another one. Uh, are you based out of Calgary or somewhere in Alberta, Canada? Yes, we're in Calgary, Alberta, Canada. That's where our main office is. We have uh, seven other offices around the world. So for all those that are online, feel free to uh, um, feel free to check out those other offices. Uh, any customer demo or YouTube video available? Yes, there's going to be several YouTube videos. Uh, we'll we'll send out information on those uh, on those. Um, uh, YouTube demos and also customer demos and uh, oh past that to answer your question today off of the website sometime by the end of today there's going to be a free trial available for any customer that wants to download this can we request an MNFR via the web or must we call the number to obtain either you can request it via the web or uh, call the number um, I would suggest talking to your your print on salespeople they're a lot of fun how do you release a job if you do not have an iPhone, iPad, or computer release station? Uh, from your actual computer, you had to have uh, released it, so that was Mike McCauley. Um, it is browser-based. Uh, I'm hoping that every organization that you're dealing with or working with will have some sort of browser uh, to be able to release this program, old computer, or uh, we can also sell you uh, some tablets that we'll have available as well. Uh, Rico Savin Embedded, um, I guess the answer is has been built, is waiting for um, Rico approval and we're working on that right now and they're very excited about it. Do you have a trial version for customers? Yes, it's available off of the internet later today. Uh, can the release be made with a FOB key? That's Elizabeth Bucci. Elizabeth, if you can send me an email to explain that one a little bit better, uh, I don't have an answer for you right now, but probably not. Uh, is there any work being done for an embedded client for Canon or Lexmark? Over the next three months, we're going to be working on embedded for every make and manufacturer, but right now, uh, there isn't an embedded client for Canon or Lexmark. Do the attributes like staples and duplex hold in the compatible groups? Uh, great question, Kevin, and that's a, uh, that's a tough one because uh, if the other device, if the non-compatible, or let's say you go from, if you were to do a sharp to a sharp, uh, and both of them have stapling, uh, definitely the stapling would work, uh, and the duplexing would work. If you move to another device, we're not sure, and that's why we've sort of left it up to the, uh, that's why we've sort of left it up to the uh, administrators to determine compatibility groups. You can also set, and I didn't show you in the overview in the demo, you can set up that people can't release to non-compatible groups, um, non-compatible printers. Uh, that's, again, up to you. 
would we have to install PA Secure on the tablet or smartphone? No, this is 100% browser. So you just navigate to your um, your browser browser on the tablet or smartphone, and then you'll be able to see it. Can a print job be recalled if accidentally deleted? Nope, you have to uh, print it again. So if you've uh, if you've uh, released it and deleted it in the system, uh, it's gone right now. Uh, is the RICO embedded ready? Uh, the answer is kind of on that one. Uh, I, I'm not sure. It's it's RICO is now is we're ready to send this to RICO, but of course there's a, they have to do all their testing to make sure that we don't uh, screw up their machines and things like that. So uh, um, it's coming soon. Uh, why purchase print out secure versus standard secure print that is offered on most MFDs? Uh, great question. And uh, one is that print out secure is a network-wide system. It works across the entire enterprise, so um, you can use it with any printer. Uh, it's a it's a it's a one system instead of having to learn how to release off of other systems. Uh, it doesn't give you a secure code, um, and uh, so it, it, it's not as difficult to use as most driver-based release systems. Um, but you will find that people are, are happy with uh, MFD, but uh, offering this a, as an option to, uh, as another option, just with the way the releasing works and all that kind of stuff and the pricing, it's just one of those things that we think that your customers will, uh, will go for immediately. And of course, it increases your revenue as well. Will the product integrate with, uh, uh, Rico's private labeled version of Print Audit PCS Director uh, in the same way that it integrates with Print Audit 6 for reporting, reporting and um, data integrity. It will. Uh, will this webinar be available on demand? I'm hoping I'm recording right now. Um, so uh, we'll see how technically adept I am. Have you looked at embedding this with HP OXD in the near future? We certainly have. We see that uh, we have a lot of demand from HP customers and uh, HP itself to start building embedded for uh, HP. It is not. It is not available right now. How does the swipe card connect from the Sharp device? Uh, so the swipe card can be either uh, USB directly to the Sharp device, or uh, it can be USB from any computer workstation, um, or the Sharp embedded. Uh, I believe that Sharp has some swipe or proximity card service available. Our tech support people are, will be happy to help you with that. Uh, the $1 per device is per printer, MFP, or workstation. It's per printer MF or MFP per month. And so, again, something that's, uh, that changes the way that all software we're hoping is priced for uh, not just us, but for everybody offering you guys software in the future. Time frame for YouTube videos. Um, this one's going up right away, and uh, there will be lots of lots of more information on YouTube. I don't have a time frame for all when all the pieces will be put up. We'll make sure that it's on the system. Uh, install white paper available. Yes, we have tons of documentation available off of the Secure website, which is going to be launched today. Uh, and you'll be able to find that secure website off of printaudit.com. Uh, can we check toner level service error codes with this software? Uh, Brian, thanks for your question. We have another software product, and that was the one that I mentioned earlier, where we have a, a where we're gaining a market share. We monitor um, uh, hundreds of thousands. Well, we monitor, we actually monitor millions of devices around the world. Uh, that's Print Audit Facilities Manager. Um, different functionality, but we do have that at Print Audit. Uh, does it matter to print audit the company if we as a reseller try to sell uh, existing print audit accounts ourselves? Um, so uh, it depends on what the print the existing accounts are. If they're uh, held by other dealers, your customers will have to make the decision. But uh, all of our dealers are awesome at selling to their own customers, so I think you'd have a tough time taking away taking away business from them. Uh, is there a list of manufacturers uh, you support embedded? Um, so 
approximate cost. We don't know right now what the exact cost is going to be. Uh, we're trying to keep it down to a one-time cost of less than $100. Some of the manufacturers will um, add some cost onto that. We don't know for sure, um, but the the manufacturers that we support today, um, we built the RICO embedded. It is not supported yet by RICO, but they are working on it. Um, uh, and the other ones will be released over the next four months. So we'll let you know. And again, approximate cost, our goal is to keep it as inexpensive as possible for the actual embedded software. Uh, can we get videos for our iPads when in the field with no Wi-Fi? Uh, great, great idea, John. Um, we don't, I'm going to send that one right away to marketing, and uh, I, I think that we can certainly do that. Uh, is there a separate URL for the mobile release site, or does the website auto-detect mobile browsers? Uh, it auto-detects mobile browsers, uh, but if for some reason it didn't work, there you can always click on the mobile link. Uh, so far, we've tested it with um, BlackBerry, iPhone, iPad, uh, Android, and uh, Windows mobile browsers. So, so far, it's auto-detecting for all those. Will we have to source the card readers through Print Audit? No. Uh, we'll sell them, but uh, RFID, any card reader that uh, will release a uh, code to active directory, directory will work. Um, has testing been done on Canon MFPs? Uh, yes, for release, but there is no embedded yet for Canon. So for the release, no problem, uh, but for an embedded, it's not done yet. Uh, yeah, so here's another one for a Sharp. Uh, will Secure run with Print Audit running on Sharp Embedded uh, through the browser function? Um, we don't know, uh, but I'm gonna, we're going to go try it right now. So uh, stay tuned, and we'll send you an, an email to let you know. If you wouldn't mind, Shabir, sending me a quick email to let me, uh, to make sure that I can get back to you on that. Uh, doesn't releasing the print jobs from a PC defeat the purpose of the product? Uh, it could if people are releasing right where they're sitting. Um, but again, the idea is that uh, it's it's not it's it's culturally driven that they're going to want to keep them uh, secure. But if they want to release it from so if they if it's an accountant that wants to release from her PC and run down the hall, uh, then she could. Uh, why are the print jobs stored in the interim once sent from the pr on the print audit servers? Uh, where are the print jobs? Sorry, um, there is a, the there is a server software that you get with the product that will set up on any Windows-based server. Uh, the only dependencies, as I mentioned, are that it has IIS, which is shipped with a Windows-based server. Uh, that it's got Net4 with uh, .NET4, which is kind of the platform, the programming platform that's built on. But again, that's uh, freely available from Microsoft and um, some sort of SQL server for the database. And uh, so it can either be SQL Express, which is freely available from uh, Microsoft, or you can uh, bolt it onto your existing SQL servers. Okay, are there any ports that we need to be aware of apart from port 80? Um, 9100 is the typical printing printer port, so all printers are set up with uh, port 9100 to send their jobs, and that's it. Uh, does the web site run on a customer server or the print audit server? It's a customer server. This is actual customer jobs, so it stays at their site. Uh, so it's it's internal to the customer site. Uh, Linux. Um, you've uh, added another one. Uh, no, so the uh, the jobs do not reside on the printer itself. They reside on our secure server, and they're compressed and encrypted, and they're and they're uh, they're safer there than sitting sitting on us on the printer. Uh, and not every printer has a hard drive as well. Uh, does this system use IPP for printing? Oh, you just went, you just hit the end of John's technical abilities. Uh, I don't know what IPP for printing, so uh, Michael McCauley, if you can send me a quick email again, I would be happy to answer that question. Uh, or to have somebody here that knows what it means to answer that question. Uh, can you make all of the QA today available to us. So I'm recording this presentation. I don't think anybody's actually uh, writing down my answers. So I'm hoping that the uh, presentation recording at the end of it, you'll be able to get this if the recording works. And I'm, 
uh, and I'm technically able to make recordings. Uh, is the software the same for 32-bit and 64-bit? The answer is yes. Uh, how do you bill? Is it based on a monthly fee per unit? Yes. Um, different manufacturers, when they push out the price list for the pricing for this, uh, they may have different bundling, but essentially it works out to um, uh, the idea behind our pricing is that when your contracts are finished with your customers, the software comes out with it. And so your customers don't want to take the software out because it's awesome. It makes you more sticky in there. So however it comes out from your different uh, manufacturers, but uh, for us selling directly to a dealer, it can be monthly, yearly, quarterly, however you want. Um, does this database have to be SQL or can it run on two, DB2? Right now it's SQL Server. If Print Audit Secure is enabled through a corporate network, can the end user choose whether or not they want their print jobs to go through a secure or non-secure queue. Uh, yes, it can be set up that way. Will your marketing department put together a comparison against competitor follow me solutions? Uh, Frank, the answer for that one is uh, we almost never do that. Uh, uh, software is a fluid event and um, uh, this is we believe this is a much better mousetrap. Uh, we always like to sell on our um, on our strengths, and we even rarely know how our competitive systems work. Um, but um, uh, so it, it, you don't usually see that stuff from us, and it, it, it's just a, an internal corporate policy because we've seen lots of competitive sheets on our products based com that competitors put out, and they're always wrong uh, because we put out new features, new functionality, or they just didn't see the see it. So we try and avoid that. Uh, I do not see this being secure if you release from your computer, won't someone still be able to see HR or accounting information before you get to the MFD? Uh, yeah, I mean, if they're, if they're using their browser on their computer to release the job, um, kind of defeats the purpose. Uh, I don't see why they would because uh, they're, the most one, they're the ones that are the most concerned about not seeing financial in HR, so they would want to release it at the device. But again, uh, this, is, this is built for um, people that want to have secure printing in their organization. Uh, is the pricing the dealer cost or the retail pricing? The pricing that, that I showed you today is the uh, base cost. Uh, if it's going to get charged, back, charged off to the customer, we do suggest that you make um, some sort of margin on it. And so um, we're suggesting that the retail price would be somewhere around $1.50. Uh, can the dealer be trained on configuring print audit and secure? Absolutely, we have training available. Uh, again, um, Shabir, thanks very much for the question. Uh, contact us, and the website will also show how you can get your training and configuring of secure. How does the antivirus affect the software? What exclusions need to be made? So far, uh, Ismail, we have seen no. Um, we've been working very similar with our with our other products for years. Uh, we're pretty good with antivirus software, and uh, right today, we have not seen any um, uh, interference from antivirus software. If it happens, we'll be on it um, like white on rice to make sure that uh, that it's fixed. Is secure only for MPS contracts, or can it be sold to a customer? Absolutely, it can be sold as a standalone, whatever, however you want to sell it. Uh, we built it so that it'll work with MPS and service contracts, but it still works just as well as an independent um, standalone solution. Uh, is there a universal driver across multi-brands? No, we use the uh, driver that the user prints from originally, so that it preserves uh, all of the um, uh, all of the functionality of that driver. Uh, universal drivers, in my opinion, don't work great because you lose duplexing, you lose watermarking, you, you lose stapling, all those sorts of things. Um, but uh, if you do have a universal driver on your system, it'll work with it. Um, Ismail saying thanks, no problem. Uh, Michael McCauley, uh, if a client is using embedded MFP client, will we be able to prevent clients from releasing jobs from a PC browser? Um, uh, maybe. Right now, no. Uh, but uh, it's, it's interesting. It's come up a few times. I don't think it's been you all the way through. So uh, it, it's something that we hadn't really thought of. So we're going to work our way. We're going to work our way through. 
Uh, how does it work with the Citrix client? Uh, the Citrix client will, when they print from the Citrix client, it will secure the job. Uh, very similar to the way that Printed 6 works, if you're used to that. Uh, it will spawn another instance of the workstation client uh, with Citrix and capture the jobs. Holy, I think uh, I might be at the end. Let's see. Uh, yeah, I think we're I think we're at the end. I'm gonna I'll uh, if anybody else wants to throw up some questions over the next um, let's say one minute, please do. Uh, otherwise, we'll uh, we'll um, move off of the presentation today. Uh, we're done about 15 minutes early. I do see another question here that's popped up, uh, so I will answer it in a second. But um, uh, thank you very much for those who are thinking of leaving or don't want to listen to the rest of the question. Thanks for your time today. It's, uh, it's great to have people from all over the world interested in what we're making here. Uh, okay, so are there attachments for printer-only devices for releasing print jobs? No. Uh, essentially, again, this is a catch and release program. All we're doing is getting in the, in the middle of the print job and uh, stopping it, securing it, and letting it go when, you're, when your users are, ready, are standing at the device. Um, hey, Lisa, thank you. Lisa says, thank you, great presentation and fab product. Thanks, Lisa, that's what we're hoping for. We've been working hard on this. We've got a great team here. Uh, how can we get a repeat of this webinar? Um, I'm recording it, so again, I'm hoping that my technical skills don't disappoint me and uh, that I will be able to put this up to, on YouTube for you guys and we'll make it available. Uh, another one, uh, Julio, thank you. This is great stuff. Thank you, Julio. We appreciate that. Okay, any other questions popping up? Oh, oh there we go. Uh, card release from the outset was a great idea. Thanks for it. Oh, good. You guys are... Uh, you guys are making me feel great. I'm getting lots of uh, cheers and wonderful. So uh, thanks. You're building up my you're building up my ego. Okay, guys. Um, so most of the comments that are coming in now are uh, congratulations and thank yous. And uh, so thank all of you. We really appreciate it. Again, you can always find somebody at Print Audit. Uh, I don't even have voicemail. Most of the people don't know how it works. Somebody always answers the phone at Print, at print Audit, and uh, that's what we like, are live people. So thanks very much for your time today, and um, if you'd like to see this again, we'll put it up onto YouTube, but we also have three more presentations over the next three weeks. Take care. Goodbye.